Um, hiya, um, who do I need to speak to if I've got an idea for a burger? Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I've had an email from Sarah in Leicester, so hi Sarah. She wants me to combine two of her favourite things in the whole world, and that, my friends, is McDonald's and Jaeger Bombs. Now, if you don't know what a Jaeger Bomb is, basically, you have got yourself a Red Bull or energy drink of your choice, and Jaeger Meister, which is very strong alcohol, and you drop it in a glass like that, and then you basically do this. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we've got some Jägermeister, some energy drink, salt and pepper. What we're going to do is make a funky mayonnaise for our burger. We use ketchup, mayonnaise, mango chutney, mix it all together with the Jägermeister and the Red Bull, and it's going to be a really cool sauce, okay? We've got some meat, which we're going to marinate in Jäger Bomb as well. Kind of cool. And a sesame seed bun here. What I've done, cut it in half and then grabbed another one and cut the bottom off it to make almost like a Big Mac-esque style bun, which we're going to toast. And also got some just standard burger dressings. You've got sliced tomatoes there lettuce, onions, and gherkin. So, it's really easy to do this. I'm not expecting the under 18s to follow this. So if you're under 18 and you're watching this video, what I want you to do is to basically pass yourself over to your parent and say, there you go, and I'm sure your parent will oblige. Let's get on and make this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab ourselves a bowl to make our burger patties, okay? So we're gonna grab our meat like so and just drop it in, right there. Got a little bit of salt. We'll chuck some more of that in at the end as well, just give it a bit of standard seasoning. Pepper as well. All good. Now in goes our energy drink. Oh yeah, That's, that should be enough. Cool. And our Jägermeister. Now the guy in the shop didn't take the security tag off there. It kind of looks like a little mini Sambroro. Uh, Sambroro? Sambroro? These Mexican hat things, I don't know what they're called. Let's pour that on there. Whoa, not on the security tag. Yeah, that'll do. Nice bit of Jägermeister in there. Maybe that's a little too much, I don't know. Anyhow, let's stir that all around. What we're going to do basically here is mush up the mince, I know mean, it's minced up already anyway, but mush it all up so we can make it into a nice funky burger shape. So we're going to let that flavour really get in there to make some Jaeger bomb style meat, baby. Okay, so I'm happy with my meat. It's a teeny bit squidgy if I'm honest, but it's all good. I'm going to slap it on there, almost like a big brain, I don't know. What we're going to do is take little pieces out of it, maybe like take it into thirds and start to make burger patty shapes with it. So if I just put these bits to one side. And you can sort of make massive quarter pounder style ones if you want, or you can flatten it down like that into the round ones, or you can have thin ones like that. It's completely up to you. I kind of did look like a brain for a minute. I'm kind of freaking out. Anyhow, so let's kind of make this into a nice sort of disc. I'm going to do another one. I'm really going to go for two patties, and the one that's left over, I'm probably going to feed to the dog. Cha-ching. Okay, guys, so I've literally just finished making the patty shapes there, and I'm picking them up with a fish slice just to help try and help keep the shape a little bit, because if I do it with my hands, it'll probably just turn into any sort of odd jelly thing. So that's on a baking tray sheet like that with some greaseproof paper on it. I'm just straighten it up, and I'm going to get another piece and just put it on the top just to flatten it down there. That should hold it in place. Now that is going to go in the freezer now for about 20 minutes to help it hold its shape. In the meantime, we're going to make our sauce, but just on the side, what we'll quickly do is have something called a Jaeger bomb. You've probably never heard of this before, but basically it's a Jägermeister in a glass with some energy drink. Let's put it in the freezer. Okay, so while that's set in doing its thing, I've got myself another bowl, like so. What we're going to do is make the funky sauce for the middle bit, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is grab, I oh know, our mango. Let's do that first of all. A nice tablespoon of that in there. Mango chutney. I love that. It's going to give it a nice sort of tropical feel, okay? Wow! Loving it. So, mayonnaise as well. A tablespoon of that. Boom. That goes in there. Ketchup. Tomato ketchup. Love it. Amazing. Can't live without it. A tablespoon of that. Boom, boom, boom. Salt and pepper again, can't live without salt and pepper my friends, it is, it is your like Buddha, you just, you just got to live with this, you, wherever you go it's there, so you just, just deal with it, okay? Salt and pepper is in there, look at that, you're loving it. So, when you're looking at that mixture, what else could you add to it? I know what you're thinking, Jägermeister, right? So, a little bit more of that, not too much this time, just a little bit, yeah that'll do. Red Bull again, or energy drink of your choice. Pour that in, and now we'll just stir it round. Okay, so you might have seen it was a watery consistency at first, but it's really starting to thicken now, looking good. And that is what we want, because when you put it on these buns, we want to smother it, baby, like a stalker on a celebrity, okay? Have a little taste of it and see what you think. That's all right. 
If you want it stronger, you can add some more Jägermeister, but I think that one's all right at the moment. Okay guys, it's time to put the burgers on. I've literally just got them out of the freezer and that will help them hold their shape a little bit. So I'm just putting them onto this hot pan like so, using my different fish slices, amazing. So the alcohol on that will probably burn off a little bit, but that is why the sauce is all important. I've got myself a griddle pan here as well. What I'm gonna do is toast my buns like so. That's on a low heat. It doesn't matter if we toast them a little bit ahead of the burgers. We wanna make sure those are cooked through. Not much else to do now other than keep your eye on that. Oh, and one other thing, you can do this thing here where you put a Jägermeister into a can or a drink of uh, energy drink. Yeah. Okay, it's going really well. So well, in fact, I should open my own fast food restaurant. Worth thinking about. So, put my baseball hat on and make it look like I work in McDonald's. Good times. Burgers are cooked so well on top. Just doing the bottom. The buns, they only took about a minute either side to do. So they are just sat there doing their thing, nice and toasted, ready to be basted. Wow, okay, so those burgers are all cooked through. Please, please make sure they are cooked through the middle. I can't stress that enough. As funny and as silly as this video is, you need to make sure it's cooked through. Got it? Okay, cool. So to celebrate that fact, you can make yourself a quick drink. So do that, and just you know, have a quick sip. Ah, okay, burgers are done. What I've been doing is dabbing it with kitchen towel, okay, just to get the excess fat out of it. Buns are all toasted, as you know, and I've got my dressing station ready. So, with the sauce in mind, let's build a Jaeger burger. Okay, my Jaeger loving friends, this is how you make a Jaeger burger. Grab your base and put some sauce on it. Amazing, now just add a little bit of lettuce on there, like so, just spread it around. Cool, now we'll get on a base burger, and that's just gonna sit on top, like so. Wicked, now we're gonna get some onions and tomatoes on there. Yep, so I'm just putting on these onions like that, and then we're gonna put a slice of tomato on top, boom. And then obviously a gherkin, as standard, look at that. Kind of cool. And now, you need to do it all over again. So you're gonna get your middle layer base thing, give it a coat both sides with the sauce, okay? Yep, so this has got the sauce on both sides. Let's just plonk that on top like that. Holy wow, okay, that's looking kind of cool. So now, we need to add some more lettuce on there. Let's just spread that round again. Wow, that is looking some proper height on there. Now we need to add the burger. Okay, so burger on there, nice bit of weight to push it down a little bit. Now the tomato and the onions. Okay, so onion on there. Tomato on there. Let's push it right down. Gherkin, the little last gherkin on the top there. It's sitting on there, can you see that? And the last thing you need to do is grab your base, a little bit of sauce on there, and then squish it down on the top. Yeah, so sauce on the bottom of the bun there, on the top, and just push it down. Wow. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit tipsy. And also, when you go into McDonald's or any other fast food restaurant, let me just try and organize that a little bit more, and you see the restaurant like picture of the image of the burger, and it's huge, and it comes out, and it's like that big. Check that out. Homemade burgers are the best, baby. <sighs> Let's taste it and see what it thinks like. Blah, blah, blah. Well guys, on the whole, it's been quite successful. Remember, if you want to learn some proper recipes, watch my other videos, but hey, this, it's just a bit of a laugh and we'll see now what it tastes like. But first of all, you can't have a good, delicious meal like this without having a little drink. So uh, take the Jägermeister like so and drop it in the glass and then uh, down the hatch, right? Ah. Let's try the burger. Thanks guys, put you to one side. This, my friends, look at the size of that. Let's go for it. Let's try and get my whole mouth around it, so I really push it together. All right. Ooh. <laughs> That's more tasty. Oh. Guys, I did quite well with the bite there. That is absolutely amazing. So, if I can make that under, under 18, don't make that under 21 in America, right? Don't make that. Absolutely anyone in the world can. So have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. I'll see you again. Next time. Um, hiya, um, who do I need to speak to if I've got an idea for a burger? Well, uh, what's in it? A Jägermeister and Red Bull, like a, a Jägerbomb burger? Uh, are you serious? Yeah, I've got it right in front of me. 
去看看。High five!